Hello and welcome to Retro Gaming Mad, the channel that likes to play Xbox 360 and uh, before. Um, today's video is on the PS2, believe it or not. Not the Xbox, but the PS2. And this is five games that I've never heard of and I've never seen anybody play them or talk about them. Um, let's get into it, shall we? Right, okay, so this first game is uh, World War II Shooter. Um, this looks like a Medal of Honor type clone. I think this is a game on a budget. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm honest, um, because I've never played through it. I've played a little bit at the beginning of it, and I'm going to play a little bit at the beginning of it now, because why not? Um, we've got a game already. I did I've did this video once already and the sound didn't work uh, so I've redone it again so we're gonna be I'm just gonna do a little bit of it it's not the best game in the world this unfortunately and it's probably why people don't talk about it um, it's not a hidden gem or anything like that and in fact these five games none of them are hidden gems uh, well one of them could be I suppose uh, the last game might be a hidden gem it is for me because I quite like it but um, these are just five games that I've come across and I've picked up from uh, my favourite shop in the whole wide world, which is Doorway to Darkness in Doncaster. If you've never been, go there. There's a video on my channel below. Just have a check of it out and uh, just see what kind of stuff that they sell because it's incredible. The amount of stuff, the amount of stock they've got and the amount of range of games and, and consoles is just, well, it's out of this world. And James, the person who runs it, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, anyway, let's get back to the game. So this is a uh, World War II shooter. Now, it's a bit... Look at that. I mean, oof, I'm not sure about that, are you? It looks very generic. Um, it, and, oh. <laughs> you probably want to know why I'm laughing. Look at his gun. It looks like he's got he's holding a microphone. It doesn't look like a gun at all, does it? <laughs> yeah, it's not... Um, it's trying to be Medal of Honor, I guess. It's trying to be Medal of Honor, but let's fire the gun and see what happens. Right, I'm just trying to figure out what the buttons do. It's very, it's very grainy. It's like, sorry, not grainy, foggy. It's really, really foggy, and it also, oh, what's that? Oh, he moved the other way, didn't he, bugger? Hey, stop that! I've not hit him once yet. Right, he's hit me 16,000 times. I've hit it. Objective failed. Mission terminated. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, mission is terminated because I'm coming off it. Um, <laughs> I don't really know why. Uh, I don't really know what I did. I, I didn't read the bump at the beginning, did I? But yeah, that's um, World War II shooter. I'm not sure that I will actually play this game. It's not a game for me that I don't think. The controls are a bit wishy-washy. The you know you press uh, you press left and it goes you, so you go I want to go left I want to go right now <laughs> you get what I mean they're a bit delayed that's not a, it's not probably a game I'm going to play that if I'm honest right this next game I've realised that this next game is not from the UK at all never heard of it before it's not a game. I only picked it up um, sort of probably the end of 2023 um, and um, when I've looked at this game because I've done this video already and it didn't work because like I said the sound didn't work um, my microphone wasn't picking up my voice um, so I've had to do it again so I have seen this game obviously but I picked it obviously I saw it when I picked it up but um, what I've realised is that the actual I'll show you you've probably just seen it then uh, if you're wondering what the lines are, they're, um, it's because I've got a splitter and the splitter's two signals, one to the laptop, one to the TV. And it sees the laptop first and then the TV afterwards, so it's slightly delayed. That's why you get the white lines. You lose a signal, basically. Um, right, this game is called... Hidden Invasion. Um, I've no idea... I'm going to have to put these on. That's why I've got them on. Look, hidden invasion there you go um, and basically what it is is um, it 
it's in a foreign language. It isn't on screen. It's actually on. Um, I don't want to choose my character. We'll, we'll continue, I think. Uh, oh, you've got to put a key in. Uh, fair enough. Uh, we'll go with him. Um, yes, the I don't know what language it my is. I suspect is Dane it's... I'm an ex-marine, now working for the police. I honestly don't know. Danger. We're just going to watch the FMV on this because I don't want to play it. To our new world um, right, captain, you tell me Alpha which City. language it is because I can't quite like work it out. It's not Spanish. I don't and think. It's not French. It didn't have a reputation for being a troubled area. That day, it they just French, asked I me to overpower I a gang of terrorists. I don't know. They, I, I found the game in the shop, and I, and I quite like the look of it, so I uh, I picked it up, and it's been sat in my collection since 2023. And uh, it, but instead, it's, my it is, boss it had canceled French. my holidays. To send yeah, it is French, I think. Really That's French, isn't it? That there's French. It's playing in English, though, so it, it doesn't matter. But it, it is a, a European game as well. It's a PAL game. It says so there. So I suspect it is actually French. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, because I don't really know. But it's made by... It's uh, Yeah, it is. I'm sure it's French. Um, it's distributed by Midas. Midas Touch. That's what it says at the bottom. There, look. Um, it looks like it's a kind of third person a beat em up shoot em up i don't know right okay i don't i don't really know what we're doing oh camera angles right, boot him that's it there we go <laughs> why don't they just shoot me that would make sense wouldn't it oh he's kicking him in the head yeah i've not got a gun but they have right okay yeah i think we've had enough of that one um the, there's probably a reason why these have never come up on people's pickups. Although, huh? I might have just flung the. Uh... Oh crap, I'm banging into everything. I might have just flung the disc across the room there. Uh, there's Yeah, there's got to be a reason why people don't talk about these games because they're probably terrible. But I'll bet you any money you've not heard of them before. Right, this next game. I do know what this next game is about. It's a secret agent. It's a female secret agent. And I'll tell you more about it after this. It's not a secret agent. <laughs> it's not a secret agent. It's a thief. It's a female thief. And um, this female thief has decided that she's going to um, pinch some kind of... You can probably see it there, can't you? I'll put it up. It's called Stolen. And I guess that the title probably gives away the fact that she's a thief. <laughs> Not a secret agent. I mean, seriously. I really should pay attention more, shouldn't I? Uh, right, it costs £2.99. And for two pound ninety nine, that's a cheeseburger and a and a and a burger. No, it's not even a McDonald's meal. I mean, I don't like McDonald's meals. If I'm honest, I'm, <laughs> I keep saying this in my videos. Um, it sounds like I go to McDonald's a lot, and I really don't. Um, the only thing I like from McDonald's um, is uh, I used to be a Big Mac fan, but I've, I, I went off them years ago. And um, the only thing I like from McDonald's currently is the breakfast, and I, I very rarely get to have breakfast with them. Because um, I like that all, um, you know, like the advert of uh, McDonald's where they say, come and have breakfast with us. And it's the early morning um, sort of advert that they do. I quite like that. I quite like that feeling. And uh, I've been there a few times before on a Sunday when I've gone uh, photog gone out photography, going do doing photography. I've gone to McDonald's for my breakfast at sort of six o'clock in the morning. Uh, and the sun's just coming up in the summer and it's great. Uh, that's when I like McDonald's. Um, but the main meal is just, how did I get onto McDonald's? I'm talking about video games. <laughs> That's what I'm like, unfortunately. I just wander. Um, oh, it's because of the price of it, wasn't it? That's how I got onto it. Yeah, Stolen, it's, it's, a, it's a female protagonist. And I think what happens is she goes into like a, a museum to go and pinch this uh, this gem or something. That's what it's saying on the blurb. blurb. Uh, and then she gets right, uh, sort of stuck in some um, dangerous conspiracy apparently. I don't really know what that means. It could be a good game by the look on it. 
it looks a bit perfect dark if I'm honest there you go that's what she looks like that's what she looks like the same as she's on the front but um, it's a game I've never seen like I said with the other ones um, I've never seen it before I've never it's made by it's distributed by hip games or it's made by hip games well there's um, a studio I've never heard of before they probably don't exist now but um, let's have a look at some of the concept art see if there is any <laughs> we've got to open it haven't we there we go we've got to open it I still can't get used to the fact that um, the back button because we on, on the control of the back button on the PS2 is the triangle button on everything else it's um, it's a circle isn't it um, in modern day gaming but on the olden day gaming it's um, triangle I was around in this era by the way you know I did do a lot of gaming especially PS2 PS1 and PS2 so I've got an affinity for the console I quite um, I love I love the PS2 I used to do in the time not so much now because I find the graphics a bit crap <laughs> they're a bit blocky and stuff but it's, it's still playable and the controls are a bit naff as well now um, the technology has moved on so far that um, I'll show you this the the analog sticks when you move them they're a bit behind slightly delayed um, when you see how far they've refined the controllers for um, the new controls uh, the new consoles it's pretty amazing to be honest and it makes the gaming a little bit difficult in my opinion to play because like you've seen with the um, the World War II shooter I, I couldn't I couldn't even hit them um, right okay it just takes a bit of practice that's all but back in the day you'd have no problems hitting them it's just me right this next game I got confused right or I think I might have got confused with this game right this game's not on the list this game's a really good game um, you probably will have heard of this one at some point this is a Resident Evil clone um, and it's a very good one as well on a boat um, but I thought I, I didn't have this uh, before this game that I'm going to show you now I thought was this game and it isn't uh, because I played that game before on a different console I can't remember which one it was um, and when I picked up the game I'm going to show you currently that's coming on screen now there you go I thought that this was Cold Fear, and it turns out it isn't. This is, um, well, you play as Andrew Sterling, an MI6 agent disemvowed. So basically, it's made, distributed by Sierra Games, who the, the very infamous or famous, or whatever you want to call him, YouTuber Metal Gear Solid used to work for. Metal Gear Solid, what am I talking about? Metal Jesus, Metal Jesus rocks. That's what I was trying to say. Um, it's it's basically a, a, it's like a, a rogue secret, secret agent. Isn't it? There's a lot of explosions on the back. Look, look at all them explosions. One at the top and one at the bottom. and Fantastic. And it says one great big grin inducing gun crazy spectacular. I don't suspect it is, you know. I really don't. I don't suspect that back in the day it was either. I've, I, have you ever seen anybody talking about this game? I mean, seriously. Have you ever seen anybody say, you should play this game, or this game is a, is a game that, um, you know, it'd be good to play, and it's a hidden gem or whatever it is. That's because it probably isn't. It's probably one of those. The PS2 region, uh, Eva, sorry. The PS2 era was one of them eras that there was a lot of experimental uh, games going on and uh, a lot of games came out and they were subpar. They were just all right. Uh, I'm going to take my glasses off because I can't see that. Um, yeah, they were just subpar, you know, like uh, stocking fillers or like the Wii has the uh, bloatware or whatever they call it, Wii wear, and it's just full of crap. Um, the PS2 had a lot of full of crap games as well. And this probably could be, could have been one, but I'll bet you any money that you've never heard of that before. I hadn't until I picked it up and brought it home and thought, I can't wait to play that game because it's that one where we're on a boat because I haven't bothered looking at the back of it. I just saw the cold bit. And uh, when I got it home, I put it, put it, I put it in and I was like, uh, okay, so it's not that one. It isn't. Cold fear, as, it's, as that one is. It's a completely and utterly different game, as you can see on screen. Stolen. Down. Given. There. No. Traded. There. Misplaced. Found. Yeah. That one is a very good game. I, I suggest you pick that one up. I don't know about this one. 
I won't know until I've actually played it. Simple. Which I'm not going to do today because oh look he's been captured and he's looking at the camera. Save me, save me. I mean graphics look alright. The PlayStation 2 was very um, square wasn't it? They all had like 80s um, shoulders. Look at his shoulders they go. <laughs> he's do <still> as well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks alright. I, I quite I quite like the look of it. Um Jim, I forgot it's a she is it, is it what's a she oh I don't I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm not gonna find out what's going on because we haven't got all night to make these videos unfortunately. So there you go, that was that was a game called Cold Winter. A bit like we're having now because it's minus something outside and my feet are sodding freezing. It's doing me heading currently. Right, this last game, this last game is, abs I, I really like this game, but I think it's a clone of a lot of different games, and you'll see what I mean when I, uh, when it comes up on screen, and we'll, we'll play a little bit of it, and I'll show you. It's, uh, it's a clone of very many games, in fact, one of the games that it's a clone of, I shall show you the box too. It's a box, that's beautiful, that one. Spyro the Dragon. It's a, it's kind of a bit of a clone to that. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, all sorts of different games. Look how beautiful that looks. I love this purple colour. I think it's so nice. I've got two uh, Spyros that I intend to play. There you go. It's just come on screen. So it's a game called Scaler. Not Spyro. Scaler. Okay. And um, you play as whatever that blue thing is. I don't know what that blue thing is. I don't think it's a dragon. You, right, I'll tell you, it's wisecracking 12-year-old Bobby Jenkins has stumbled upon an evil next-door neighbour, neighbour's plot. I can't see it because the light's there and it's dark on this bit, so it's hard to see. Uh, neighbour's plot to use a mutant lizard army to destroy the world. Caught, Bobby is zapped by a bizarre bolt of energy and transformed. Does this sound familiar? It does sound familiar, doesn't it? Who shrunk the kids? Honey, I shrunk the kids. It sounds a bit like that. Let's press start anyway. I might have played some of this game. I, well, I have played some of this game. Do, don't listen to me. I, I'm not telling the truth. <laughs> he says, no scaler. All right, we'll have to start a new one then. Fair enough. Um, yeah, and he says, uh, Bobby is zapped by a bizarre bolt of energy and transformed into a ship, a shape-shifting altered ego, alter ego scaler. With no way to call up back up, Scaler has to defeat all of his enemies and risk spending the rest of his or risk spending the rest of his life in reptile exile. Right, that's Bobby there. I quite like this game. I think it's quite good. The graphics on it are really, really colourful, like you can see now. They're really colourful. They're they're very they're very like in your face. I suspect that if you're playing the light that I'm playing in currently, your eyes will be hurting by the end of the day. Um, there you go. There's Bobby. He's now a scaler. He looks like a bit like a dragon, doesn't he? But he ain't got any wings. Um, and he does stick his tongue out because uh, I've already played a little bit of it. Uh, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Ratchet and Clank, Spyro the Dragon, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, and uh, maybe a couple of others. Because that there's a bit of Sonic in it. If you look up up there, well, actually, oh, the controls are back to front. Don't you just hate that? Why do they put them that way? It doesn't make any sense. First person perspective. Inverted. Right, we'll do that. Let's see if that, that that's it. That's how I like them. Right, so it it does. There we go. See, that's Sonic, in it? That Sonic is there. It's also Ratchet and Clank as well. Um, he does that in some of the newer games. Oops. I don't know. Got a jump. Yeah, it is very ratchet and clank. It's a it's a mixture of a lot of games. That's what it is. It's a mixture of a lot of games. And I I, I don't mind. It's still a nice game. Right, let, let me smash them cabbages. If you get those there bombs, look. Don't want to do that, because that'll kill me and whatever they are. Them blobby things there. They attack you. Oh, like that one. Right, okay. Don't come near me. Snapping your little snappy bits. Um, I do just like it. I think it's a good game. Um, but I bet you any money that you probably never heard of it. I hadn't heard of it until I picked it up. And once I picked it, I liked... The reason I picked it up was um, I like to pick up games 
that I've never seen before or I don't have. And um, this one was on the shelf at Doorway to Darkness and I saw it and I thought that looks quite interesting. I like the cover. I like the cover art on it. And uh, so I thought, well, it was only a couple of pounds. So I will pick it up and take it home. And that's what I did. And I'm glad I did because this is something that I will play without a doubt when I get time. Because my backlog is absolutely huge. Right, I'm not going to play any more of it because the video is just going to get longer and longer and longer. And it's already 20 minutes long. So anyway, that's that's five. I'll just show you that one again. That's it. I'm not going to get all five out again. But that was five PS2 games that you've probably never heard of and probably never want to play. Uh, you, you probably, if you're a platform person, you might want to play that one. The rest of them, eh, I don't know. Um, I think a lot of them was um, early PlayStation 2 games. If you heard that squeaky noise, it's my uh, it's my foot on the on the floor. Um, it sounds like farting, but it's not. I'm not farting. I promise you. Uh, I'll have to stop doing this because you can't see me. Um, yeah, it's it's like I say, it's five uh, PS2 games that you've probably never heard of and you probably never play, but um, they're all right. Um, but it's I, I like I like to look on YouTube and find videos of things that nobody else talks about, and that's five games that nobody else really talks about. Never seen any of those games talked about by anybody else. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, maybe subscribe below. Uh, like and I don't really like saying all that because it makes no difference to me really because um, the percentage of people who subscribe um, the percentage who watch the video the, the non-subscribers are bigger than these subscribers so and I don't make any money out of it I do this for fun because I enjoy it uh, and I'll continue to do it while I enjoy it um, so if you like to subscribe at least you'll find out when my new videos are coming out if I've entertained you and you've enjoyed doing what I'm enjoyed watching what I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in um, probably in another video. Thank you and goodbye.